not making that mistake again. Letting you guys see this terribly messy shed. Surprise, surprise. I'm on this afternoon. I was going to come on tonight at 7. But then I remembered I have my rose petals group I can't miss. So I am on now. I don't want you guys to miss out on this pretty flower. Surprise! Hey, Marion! Hi, Darlene! How are you guys? So today I'm going to make a really pretty white flower. I actually have an order, a special request for this. So I hope it comes out good. So let me pin because I see Darlene there. She's going to be yelling at me. <laughs> oh gosh. Plus, I don't get to see my daytime peeps very often. So I thought, hey Belinda, I can't see you guys while I'm typing. So I can only see one person. So hang on, let me get this in. And then I can say hi to you. There. Hold on. Did I do it? I think so. Let's see. Who did I miss? Hey, Terry. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you caught me too. Hi, Marianne. Helen. Hi, Sue Ann. Hi, Patricia. All right. Hey, Pat. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put the camera down and I'm going to get going because I know you guys, hey, Sharon, like to, um, I don't want inter to interfere with your dinner time. So let me move all my garbage out of the way and we're going to put the camera down and get started. I already started. <coughs> I took all the fun out of your day. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Sorry. I have to keep you happy. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Alright, so we are going to make a flower. And I got the new board. And I, must, I was a little surprised. And I'm wondering... I don't know if it's right or not because I thought they added I already did the pin haha -ha. hey Janice I thought they added the two holes in between on this next row but I only saw one hole so if any of you got this new board where they added the holes let me know if that's the case because I added another hole still I want two holes there. <laughs> but with one hole, you could share with the hole next to it or the one on the other side of it. So that's a good thing. But I like one petal in between this other row. So I still added another hole. But I'm wondering if that's how they did it or if I got one that was not right this next row right here. Did I get one that's not right? Hey, Sally. Hi, Sandy. How are you guys this afternoon? It's been raining here for a few days now, which is pretty unusual for Florida to have all this rain in the road like that. I'm hoping this covers well. It's been a long time since I've made. They look like mine? Okay. They only added one hole in between this next row instead of two, right? So that's correct. Because I haven't, this is the first time I'm using the new board. I, only, I still use my old ones and I put two holes 
They only added one hole. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Because I thought, what did I do? Did I get one that's not right? But, so I still added another hole. <laughs> been beautiful in Pennsylvania. That's good. It's been rainy here, which I like rainy weather because, you know, all we ever get is sunshine. So, it's not bothering me at all. But, just one hole. Alright. Thanks, Miss Tina. Hey, my Tina girl. What's up? Tina, I'm loving your sunflower pictures. They are just so pretty. I just love that sunflower field. We don't have anything like that here. Can you guys hear the rain? Yes, you share it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. It does make it easy to share. But then I find you have to add two petals in between these holes rather than one. So I just added another hole. That way I can only, I could add one petal in between and see how it goes. If I don't like it, can you hear that rain? That's rain, guys. Rain. So, I just, like I said, I'm not used to using regular mesh on these anymore. But I wanted a shiny mesh. And the Holly Burlap doesn't come in shiny mesh. Somebody, we need to tell them they need to put some metallic in their mesh, right? Wouldn't that be pretty? I gotta fly away here. Oh, I didn't even get it. Where is it? Alright, what's wrong with my eyes? I haven't been able to craft getting ready to go hunting. Going hunting, girl? very foggy for the last two days. Really? Yeah, it's pouring, but watch how fast it stops. Yes, girl. Guilfield, all the memory of my daughter raises money and awareness for childhood cancer. All in memory of the... Oh, really? That's awesome, Tina. Alright, let me cut these off. ailing my glute, my gun lately. It's been bad, being bad. I think I better get another one before it really conks out. Hey, Marla! Oh. You like to go, Helen? You like to go hunting? Thanks. Is it Esther or Ronnie? Which one? I keep get, I keep forgetting. All right, I'm not gonna do it this way again. I'm gonna do it as I go. Cause. Hey, Brenda. Yes, and why there's no fraying on mesh? I tried two kinds and they all do. I use a wood burning tool. I cut all my mesh with the wood burning tool. That's why. Yeah, I cut it all. All kinds of mesh that I can cut, I cut with a wood burning tool. Now the ones with the burlap running through, Esther. Okay. Awesome. The ones with the uh, burlap running through, you cannot cut them with a wood burning tool. You have to use the rotary cutter. But I cut them all if they let me.
So what are you guys doing today? I'm not used to seeing you guys in the afternoon. I'm usually always on at 9 at night. And if you are not already doing this, please do so. We want to try to get to 8,000 so we can play bingo. I would appreciate it. Hi, Nelly. Hey, Brenda. Did I say hi to you already? I have the I have the worst memory. I'm telling you. That's why I tell you, you guys, your your um, secrets are safe with me because I can't remember five minutes from now. <laughs> I'm hoping this mesh. If this doesn't cover nicely, I'm going to go through and add another petal over top. I won't do it on here. But if I don't like the way it covers, I'll be doing that. Because, like I said, I like my poly burlap for my flowers. It's nice and thick. aren't scrolling so if I miss you guys please repeat that is just a safe side effect of our years right Brenda I am the cook and I do shoot and go out with them wow that's awesome hey Andrea did I say hi to you Nellie you're making a wreath while watching awesome Patricia oh gosh Helen I'm telling you I go in my bedroom and I say, why did I come in here? What did I come in here for? Ugh. Hate that. So if you're not familiar with Unique in the Creek, this is a Unique in the Creek large flower board. If you go to my affiliate post on my Wreaths by Connie M page, I have an affiliate post with all different affiliates under there that you can click on. It'll take you right to their page. That's what's nice about the affiliate links because they take you right to the page. And you don't have to go searching but if you go to the UITC page and click shop now and then put Connie M in at checkout, all capital, one word, you will get 10% off. So, I might be adding that extra share hole anyway. Really, that's what I should have done, and that's what I may be doing. I'm not used to the new boards. I'm wondering if they are set like the normal holes. I'm wondering if they're further apart than they used to be. And that's why they, and then they added the extra hole. So, I might be adding another in between. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'll have to cut some more mesh. So, you'll get to see how I use the wood burning tool. I have to get used to these new boards. This is the first time I've used one. So... I'm not quite sure 
if they're different or not. But they're still the same amount, so I'm assuming they're still the same distance. But I think I'm going to go ahead and add, well, let me get this row done. And then I'm going to add in between. And then I'll know next time I use this board how it works. Hey, Brenda. And I don't like that big old gap in between. And I think that'll help. I think it all has to do with the molds and cooling lines. Yes, I remember Lori talking about that. Um they have cooling lines that they have to follow so so I have to get used to them because I'm still used to the old boards so we are going to add in between because this is going to my special friend who's my awesome customer and I want to make sure it's perfect for her You know, when you have a good customer, you want to make sure everything's the way, everything is perfect. Or even for any customer, really. I mean, it's not just for good customers, but definitely for the customers that keep coming back. Hey, Virginia! I added the extra hole because everyone was complaining about the distance between them on old boards. Right, I knew that, Sharon. But I was surprised to see only one extra hole versus two. That's what I thought they did. So, now I'll know next time, rather than add the hole, I will just share and put... Um, extra, you know, two extra petals instead of one. Because that's what I'm going to do. That'll really make a nice full flower. Nice if it would quit grabbing everything. Stop grabbing everything. All right, so where did you get the board and the size? This is a unique in the creek large flower frame. If you go to my affiliate links, yes, Marla, it is and click on the blue link for Unique in the Creek. Hit shop now and put in Connie M at checkout. You will get 10% off. All one word, capital letters. Put one here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them like I should have done that grabbing makes me crazy. What grabbing, Virginia? What you mean, girl? The, are you talking about the, um, zip ties? Oh, I know. Girl, I know. It makes you, it does make you crazy. You said that perfectly. It definitely does. It has to grab on everything, you know? It can't just behave. should have next flower I'll know what to do I'll just use the holes what it's meant for <laughs> hey Elizabeth what 
What's up, girl? Then I don't make extra work for myself. They made it easy. Hi, May. And I made it hard. <laughs> so don't do what I do. So when you do these boards, you have one hole in between the normal holes. Use that hole to share with the hole on either side of it. Rather than add another hole like I did. Stupidly. <laughs> Make more work. But, it will definitely be a nice full flower, so that's okay. You, you're right, Sharon. You know, I'm the queen of what not to do. <laughs> Listen to this rain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. I'm still at work. It's all good. I'm all right, girl. I was, it, the only bad thing about this rain is. I think that's why I have a headache. So I'm just adding zip ties in between the normal holes. So I will have to cut 16 more pieces. Are you, Andrea? Yeah, we've had it for probably three days now. I know, Virginia. I wish I could. Those poor people, everyone out west. Just really struggling with no rain. And it happens every year. Every year it's the same thing. I believe you, Andrea. I wish we had some cool weather coming. And when I say cool, I don't mean I don't mean cool like 80s. I mean cool. Hey, Megan girl. What's up? I mean cool like 60s. That's what I call cool. <laughs> How you doing, Megan girl? All right, let's go. Let's add all the new petals. then I know we won't have to double up because we're doubling up. Yes, 60s would be so nice. That's what I call cool. Here in Florida, they call cool 80s. Um, no, that's not cool. next Monday is for, oh, I would love it, Andrea, I would love it, I would absolutely love it, I would be, a, I would be excited too, you know what's bad about here is, at least up north, you know, when it gets cool, it's going to stay cool, but here, it's up and down, up and down, I just wish it would get cool and stay there. That would be so nice. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to cut more. Hey, Amanda girl. Hey, Brooklyn. How are you 
one sweet thing. My Amanda Girls Behind Reads by Connie M. From Stella Rose Creations. My bestie. So after I finish this row, I will have to cut 16 more petals. And you will see the wood burning tool in action. So you'll be able to see why the mesh, the mesh still, still um, frays a little bit, but nothing like it normally does. Just finished making acorns from plastic eggs and burlap candy corns. Yes, we, I've done that, Nellie. Kansas is supposed to get snow this week. Wow. Hot here today, driving to Phoenix on Monday for my niece's wedding. She has canceled three times. Oh, I'm sorry, Pat. Poor thing. I feel sorry for anyone's trying to to uh, plan a wedding in these times, or some people have already had it planned, which makes it even worse. But I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Just wear your mask. Follow the follow the protocol. Wash your hands. That kind of thing. Sad the way we have to live these days, but it'll go down in the history books for sure. the 
this next petal, I will have to be cutting 16 more petals. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Bye. But now I'm in the car wash. You're in the car wash, girl? Come to my house, you can wash your your car naturally. <laughs> oh good, keep missing you. How is your niece? Oh, she's better. Um, my niece, I know, isn't it amazing? Um, my niece has just been approved for two. Um, I know, right, Virginia? Two, um, oh, what does she have to have? Lung transplant. Double lung transplant. Now, so she will be going to Shan's. Thanks, girl. She'll be going to Shan's, which is in Gainesville, I believe. I don't know where Shan's is. I think it's in Gainesville. So, um, she still needs our prayers, but I thank you all so much for all the prayers. So this is the wood burning tool. When you cut with the wood burning tool, did you ever exchange for the bigger shed with honey? My husband's not cooperating with the shed thing. I wish, I wish I had a bigger room. So I'm just shifting things to the porch and everywhere. Yes, it is a good hospital. Um, she has lupus, so... Okay. I think she's going to... Uh, right. She's going to Gainesville. Um, but she has lupus, so it affects your organs, you know, but she's at the point now where she has to, has to do something, so, now I don't know if it means they already, I mean, I don't know if they already have the lungs for her, or if she has to be, you know, tested and all that stuff to get a good match in that, I don't know what the next step is. But she just signed the paperwork yesterday, so she'll be, should be going soon. It is, it's, it, and she's, she's 30 right now. She just turned 30 in June, but she's been dealing with this for a long time. My petals are nine inches. Nine inches. And when you cut with the wood burning tool, go in between the squares. Now I know some people just use a ruler and go down, but I don't know how well that works because the object is to seal both sides of your mesh so that they don't fray. So, if you just use a ruler and follow it down, then I'm not sure if, I don't know. Is anybody on here that just uses a ruler? Does it work? Because I think the best way is to go down the squares, you know, so you don't, you're not, um, so you are definitely sealing both sides of the mesh. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I haven't been counting. <laughs> Is anyone counting? I haven't been counting. So if anyone does get the new boards with that extra hole, Make sure you use it for the right purpose and share it with the holes on either side of it 
and you will get a nice full flower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And five more. Now these have metallic in it, so it takes a little bit longer because of that. And I have a fan sitting next to me, and it's blowing the fumes away from me. If you do not do that, or if you're not sitting outside, I recommend you wear a mask. It wouldn't hurt to wear a mask anyway when you're cutting your mesh. But that's how I do it. And I'm not saying that's the right way or the wrong way, but... I forget. Did I, I lost count. Did I do five yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. One more. These are cut nine inches. One more. And I always cut nine inches for this kind of a petal only. If if I do the petal where you fold, you know, fold it over each other, then I do ten inches. Um, but when you're doing this kind of kind of a petal, it's really not necessary to do ten inches. I mean you can if you want, but you really can't tell the difference. So, I do the nine inches. This is tempered glass, Connie. Always cut on tempered glass. I'm going to put these together because it makes it easier. This flower takes up a lot of room on the table, so it's easier put them together. up the middle and just fold it in half and put it in the fold side down. Thanks Lizzie. I think it is too. Always remember to put your fold side down because you don't want the fold sticking up unless you're going for that look. But I like the fold side down. This would look so pretty on anyone's wall. Welcome! Everyone welcome Lizzie. She is new with us. Or any wall really. Bedroom, living room, front door. It would look pretty anywhere. Thanks, Maria. Yes, nothing prettier than a nice shiny white wreath. I wish they would, like I said, make the poly burlap with metallic through it. Because even though it's nice and thick and it covers nicely, it's dull. It's dull. 
Welcome, Maria. Everyone, welcome, Mar Maria. She's also new with us. If you like what you see, please tap on the screen and you'll see three dots come up. You can turn on your notifications. I normally go on at 9 Eastern at night, but I didn't want to miss my my Rose Petals group tonight. Well, I was going to go on at 7 tonight, but because tonight's the, de the debate, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to watch. So... I changed it to seven, but then I remembered the rose petals, so I had to change to this afternoon, which is good because I don't get to see my afternoon peeps very often. I'm gonna have to change that up some and go on earlier. Thanks, guys. Because I know not everybody's a late bird like me. No debate for you. Yeah, well, it's not my not my way of uh, entertainment, but there might be a lot of people that want to watch it. I'm looking at this wondering. I'm going to put the middle petals in, but Oh, yes, we love having all our newbies come join us. If you're not already doing this, please do so. We're trying to get to 8,000, and then we play bingo, which we all love to play. Now, I'm going to put that middle section in, but you know what? Because I want this nice and full... I think I'm going to add these in between petals also. So when I make the next one, I will know. That is um, Amanda, Amanda's group with Stella Rose Creations. That's her group that I'm in. So, all right, I'm going to get some more. Um, and I'm going to add some more in here. Normally, you probably, you know, if you're using uh, the polydeco mesh, you don't have to do all these steps because it really covers well. Yes. Yes. Um, but using this uh regular deco mesh I want to make sure it's nice and full and this is the only way to do it I'm sure like I said it probably wouldn't be necessary but we're going to do it anyway the boards are set up so that you don't have a lot of you know the holes are placed so that it covers the robe in, in back of it. But if you want to make it really nice and full, go ahead and share the holes. And you, you know what? Hey, is there ever too much mesh? Have you ever seen a wreath that has too much mesh? I don't think I have. Probably have to cut some more, which is okay. Let's see, one, two, three. I think I'm adding eight more. I almost did something. it nice and full and this thinner mesh you know it's always
always nice to be nothing wrong with adding. So I'll have to cut eight more when we get done with this row. You can use tool. I have never made a full tool wreath because it's so thin normally. Um, usually I just use tool for accents because you would need a lot, a lot of it. Hi, Barbara. Hey, Carla. How you doing, girl? So, yeah, I'll have to cut eight more pieces. So, I have to make two for my bestie, Miss Pat. So, next one, I will know, and I'll be more prepared. on how to do it. Now if you may if you're using a mesh that has a lot of foil, I'm doing okay girl. Then you might get away with less petals. But this, this mesh is kind of thin, so more is better. just plain um, white metallic mesh. I'm not sure if it came from Craft Outlet or Hobby Lobby. One or the two. One of the two. They both carry it, so I don't know which one, where I got it from. to use the thinner mesh for this wreath versus the four wreaths. Not quite I understand that question, Lizzie. Um, I don't know what, what, what you mean, girl. If you use thinner mesh, add. Always add, because... You want a nice full flower. If you use poly burlap, you don't need to add because it's so thick. So it covers well. But there's only certain flowers that look good with the poly burlap. You know, if you want kind of a wispy look like this, you're not going to get it. I did heat seal, yes, Rose, and I'm going to have to do some more. Hi, Cheryl. Soon. Oh, no worries, Carla. No worries, girl. No worries at all. Did I answer your question, Lizzie? So it depends what look you're going for. I kind of like this look. And I like the... I like both of them, actually. So... But I also like the shine of this mesh. Alright, so I'm going to have to cut eight more pieces. Hope I have 
eight more pieces. That would be that would be really upsetting at this point. <laughs> if I don't. So this is the wood burning tool. Yes, thank you. Um you go in between the squares when you're cutting. At least this is the way I do it. I'm not saying this is the only way, but thanks, Cheryl. It's the way I do it. Do you have the SKU number for the white mesh? Um, let me look. I think it's, oh wait, it is on here. Um, item number CR006-12. Oh wait, no, don't, don't, do, don't use that one. <laughs> I, I forgot, I got that. That's an extra paper. Don't use that one. I'll have to see if I can get it out of the garbage. It's just, um, all it is though is white metallic mesh. That's it. Hey, girl. Well, I'm live early because I was going to go at 7 because of the debate tonight. Because you know I'm normally 9 Eastern Time. But I know a lot of people are going to want to watch the debate. So I switched to 7 and then I remembered our rose petals. So I can't go at 7. And besides, I don't get to see my afternoon people very much, so here I am. I'm going to be having an auction sale coming up in the beginning of November. It'll be a good chance to get some good Christmas shopping done because I really lower the rates of my rates for the auction sales. I mainly do it to make room so I can keep making them. I don't have room to store them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. I did it. I made it. And I want to be able to go to Crafters Convention, and I'm not going to be able to go unless I unless I start selling these, getting rid of these wreaths. So I always. I always um, put them down to a good price, but that doesn't mean you'll get them. If you're the highest low, highest bid, you'll get them. So, the children's presidential debate. What's that, girl? All right, I'm done. Let me see. Do I have the paper from it? Yes, it's called Poly Pro mesh ribbon. I guess I did get this at Hobby Lobby. It's weatherproof. And this item number 299602. Is it a skull for the center? No. No, 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 Brooklyn. It's not a skull. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, eight. Put them together. Otherwise, they'll be flying all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> oh thank you, Tina. Yeah, it's the only white mesh that. Hobby Lobby carries, I believe. I don't think they carry any other kind. But I know they have it also at Craft Outlet. Because I've gotten it there too. Alright. Let's finish this last row. If you've never worked with Unique in the Creek, 
they actually the board actually does all the all the work all you're doing is adding the mesh you're gonna have a mute button I know all the more reason that that's the only reason I want to watch it just because I I really can't believe I think it's gonna be funny <laughs> I want to see how that mute button works But yes, the board does all the work. It will be outstanding. Oh, are we talking about the flower? <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were still talking about the debate. Or maybe we are. I don't know, guys. I don't know. So, um, this is my last day of the, uh, to be on during the day. Oh, the flower. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, I will be in my private group tomorrow night at nine. If you are interested in joining my private group, it is $9.99 a month. I do things in there that I don't normally do on a live. Some of it works, some of it don't, <laughs> but hey, we're all learning together, right? So if you'd like to join, we'd love to have you. Um, the sign up is under my affiliate link post. You can just sign up there and then go over and ask to join Connie's Peeps VIP. Please don't ask to join until you have signed up with your PayPal subscription. Oh, this is really pretty. This is really nice and full. and full. Something should not be part of everything. Yes, we, we do all kinds of things in there. Hi, Sandy. We don't do, in fact, I don't think I've made a wreath in there yet in my private group. We've we practice bows a lot, we mod podge, we make flower centers, oh, uh, what else have I done in there? I just did a lantern yesterday, that came out really pretty, and it is available for sale if anybody would like it, it would make a really, really pretty Christmas gift, it has a light in it, a candle. That flickers. It is not in my Etsy shop yet. So I have to get better pictures. I have not done well. I always did a bow on a measure on the measure buddy. Um, I called it my lazy bow. <laughs> um, but now I see there's one a lot fuller that I want to try. I've done one that's not quite so full on there. And so easy to, to lug any bow maker out. Yes, Kimberly. You know you want one, girl. You know you do. So I'm going to make two of these. Um, I'm waiting for my supplies. I did get the supplies to make one. Well, actually, I have supplies to make two just like this one. Or a little, probably more than two. I ordered a bunch of the center because I think it's going to be so pretty. Yeah. All right. 
one more flower, I mean one more petal, and then we will get to the center. Thin enough to fit between my doors. Absolutely. That's the nice other nice thing about Unique in the Creek. They are thin. They fit they fit in a nice thin box for shipping, so you don't pay the $30 for shipping like you would for the other the wireframe wreaths. There's a lot of pluses that go along with it. You're home now? It's about time you got home, girl. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to put in the middle. And I'm not sure if how many we're going to need. Whether it's going to be three or four. They're nine inches, Janet. I have made a tree with this petal, Jean. Listen, lady. <laughs> Listen, girl. I'm wondering, I might need five. Let me, I don't know, or three. Pat, are you still here, Pat? Tell me how many balls you want. Cut all the tags off. Yeah, I'm thinking I need three because they're a good size. They're actually bigger than I thought they were going to be. Right? You're welcome, Janet. But I also want to make sure you were hoping for the center I made. Well, this is a special request. Let me get another ball just to make sure I have. I want to make sure I get the coverage. Watch out, baby. girl. Thank you, Lizzie. Yes. You know what? I know they say always odd numbers, but you know what, guys? I'm not an odd number person, so I don't always follow that protocol. Hmm. No, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. thinking it has to be the three, I guess. Hi, Sandy. Yeah, but I'm concerned. My concern is I want to cover it well and I don't want to have to see the board at all. Darn, I think these are too big. I think these are too big. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any smaller ones. 
this color. She she wants this color, so they need to be smaller. That was my concern. But Yeah, I'm thinking I may have to add more petals. So the problem is I don't have any of this color. And this is the color she wants. So I have to think about this, guys. I have to think about it. I I already shared the holes. shared the holes but all right let's cut some more petals no three's not gonna cover not going to cover it so Hold on. I'm going to add more petals. Yep, we're going to add more petals. I'm going to cut four more pieces. Pray I have enough. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> Gotta pray. I was concerned when I saw the size of these balls. But I just got an idea. Well, let's see what this works first. Because she wants these this color, so we have to s stick to this color. I know. I know. I do. I wish I had smaller balls. I was concerned about the size of the balls, but I may have to make a trip to Hobby Lobby. Or I'm going to cut the rest of this mesh and see how it goes. fails, we'll be going to Hobby Lobby. I saw what Damon did. <laughs> I did see. I actually bought that. That kit that Damon did. And I'm going to be making it my way. We messaged. I We messaged after he did that. And Asked him why he did double double ribbon on each one because that was so not necessary. 
So I'm going to make my own take on Dem Damon's. All right, this is what I'm gonna do and see if it works and hope it works. I know. If not, I'll be making a trip to Hobby Lobby. This is what happens, one of the bad things about ordering online, because you can't really see or vi visualize what the size of things are. So that makes it hard to do. Twist my arm and make me go, right? Oh darn, I have to go to Hobby Lobby. Oh darn. <laughs> We'll see if this works or not. Cross our fingers. How many do I have? One, two. How many did I cut? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I have six more I can put in. This doesn't look good. Oh, darn. I'll have to go to Hobby Lobby. I got these from Craft Outlet, and I also got some from the reef shop. I ordered from Craft Outlet. That's it, girl. Brenda. Yeah. Darn, I have to go to Hobby Lobby. What a shame. Um, I ordered these from Craft Outlet, these ornaments, and would you believe they were cheaper at the reef shop? I thought, oh, are you kidding me? So I just ordered more from the wreath shop. Now I'm going to have to put these in differently than I put in the other ones. And I'm going to show you why. So I'm concerned with how that's going to look. But hey, if it doesn't look good, you know, I've been known to rip stuff out, and I'll do it again. Alright, let's see what happens. Cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. At least cross mine. So, I'm going to have to go in... <laughs> Tom. Tom, I'm mad at you. I already told you. You're a two-timer. <laughs> you're two-timing, Tom. <laughs> Alright. So, I have to go in like this because they're going a different way. Right? The zip ties are going a different way. Hey, Robin! I order from different ones to support them, but I always end up with Craft Outlet. I know, Janet. I always start with Craft Outlet. Because normally they're cheaper, but this time they weren't. The reef shop was cheapest. Get over it. No, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> you broke my heart, Tom. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can forgive you or not. <laughs> so I'm making the petals the same way, and I should have, it would have been easier if I left these open to put them in, but I'm just slipping it, them in. 
and it still works this way. He's two timing. He's two timing on me. I was his first BFF and now he's got a new BFF. <laughs> he's two timing me. <laughs> I'm his BFF and that's, sh I should be the only one. I should be his only BFF. <laughs> Uh, he is cheating on me. <laughs> oh, I missed you too, Janice. Almost, you almost missed me. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm glad you didn't. Alright, so you see what I'm doing? I'm adding... But I'm putting them in differently. Yes, I'm just, I'm just actually doing this different. This is just a uh, plain uh, metallic deco mesh. So, what I'm doing is you pull the two corners. Oh. <laughs> I call them BFFs, Amanda, but you I call my bestie. There's a difference. <laughs> yes. So I'm pulling the two corners, scrunch up the middle, and then just folding it in half. But these zip ties in the middle here are put in differently than the rest. So you have to slide the pedal in. Now, if you'd have left them open like I should have, it would have gone in better, easier, the pedal. But I didn't. So we adapt and excel, like Katie would say. Adapt and excel. And I'm going to... And I think this might work, I hope. I hope it might work. If not, I'll be going to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> For sure. I have two more pills. Ugh. So I'm just pulling the corners. Crunch up the middle. When you pull the corners, they automatically fold in. Did you call it a pedal? Yes, it's a pedal. It is a pedal. And then I'm sliding it in sideways because the, the zip ties are going a different way. What I did was unique in the creek added two more holes in the middle of the board and I went from those holes to an outside hole to share it I believe that's going to do it I hope so Janet I hope so all cows move out of the way uh, oh, it's gonna work. Have faith. Ah, I know. I think it is gonna work. I think, I think. What is the measurement of the mesh? Nine by ten. It's a ten inch roll and I cut it nine inches. What are you doing on my... <laughs> Wendy... Well, I was going to go at 7 tonight, but I forgot about my rose petals group, and I couldn't go at 9 tonight because of 
the um, debate. So I thought I'm gonna go watch see my afternoon peeps. Oh hush, Tom, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Tom, you're gonna be in big trouble, I'm telling you. I I had that gnome kit in my Oh, it's gonna work. Nine inch pedal, yes. It's gonna work, guys. It's gonna work. Woohoo! Oh darn, no trip to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> darn, darn. It is going to work. Yes. Hi, Carrie. I did it. I did it. Hi, Ashley. So I'm going to take these off and glue around the inside and then put them back on because I don't want them to pop off. Oh, girl. I know. Thanks, Jean. Thank you, Kathy. Yay, it worked. So let me glue around. Now you're sad because I don't have to go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I know that net mesh. Um, did Lori get it in yet? Tina, are you still here? So I'm gluing around and popping it back on. Yes, I used two full rolls of mesh on this wreath. Two full rolls. <laughs> right, darling? Thanks, Carrie. Okay, I'm going to ask Lori about it. I know she said she's going to get some. Maybe it just hasn't come in yet. No, this is not dollar store ornaments. These are Hobby Lobby. They were a dollar twenty-five each, but they are a dollar fifteen each, I think, at Reef Shop. All right, I know. Hey, Connie, did not know you were. I know, Linda. I put a. I put an announcement on my page. Um. If you guys are not getting the notifications, click on. The screen and three lines should pop up and then turn on notifications all right so I'm gonna wait give this a chance to dry a little bit and then I'm gonna get some wire Thanks, Tina. They're sold out. You have to be fast. I know. I can't ever get a kit. Tom rubs it in because he gets kits and I can't. <laughs> I'm never fast enough to get a kit. I always miss out. Alright, I'm putting a wire through these. But I'm also going to glue them. I'm not going to just rely on the wire. But I want to make sure it has extra hold. I put my wire cutter away, didn't I? But I will check with Lori and see. I'll tell her a lot of people are asking about the metallic fabric mesh. But I know she said she was going to get some... 19 inch. I know the 10 inch was hard to get. But she's going to get some nine, uh, what you call it. So I just put a wire, a uh, 19 inch. I put a wire through all of the tops. Thanks, Colleen. Yeah, it, it, you know the picture doesn't do it justice. 
The color of the balls, I believe, are turquoise. I think they, I think they um, called them turquoise. the wiring in but I'm also going to glue them at least I know they have extra hold This took two full rows. How are you, Linda? Okay. Now I'm going to turn this over because I want to show you a, a, something that is good to do with these. <laughs> Tom, everybody's getting after Tom. My poor Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Patel. It's Patel, right? Am I saying it right? All right, so now when you cut a wire like this, I know, Pamela, I had to change it because I forgot about my group tonight. When you cut a wire like this, always go to a hole and stick it in. That way it's not you know, going to stick out and cut somebody's door or wherever they're going to hang it. So, and I still put the glue on there just in case it thinks it's going to pop out. All right. So now I'm going to go through Thanks, Ashley. Did I say thank you? Thank you, Carla. Um, I'm going to go through and add glue. See how it still wants to pop up sometimes? Get in there. glue underneath them. Let me look at this. I wish Pat was here so I could ask her a question. But just I'll just go by my own instinct. So just go underneath and shoot some glue under there. Thank you, girl. Thanks, Bonnie. wispy little thing. I'm going to hold this down to make sure the glue dries. Hey, Gary! You're right, I do need to drink. drink. I'm really behind. Linda. Alright. So there you have it. Hey, Heather girl. There's my Heather, my 
my niece. Thanks, Lizzie. Thank you, Patricia. Yes, Gary, you'll have to do another so I can see. I am going to do another one, Pamela. I'm going to do another one very similar to this one. Uh, as soon as my supplies get here. It'll be similar. Probably not exactly the same. I might do a little bit of a different petal. I was putting in the center mesh. Was all the petals done the same way? Yes, Barbara. Except the other ones were put in differently. So you, you can watch the replay. I had to put the... Um, center ones on differently because I already filled in the extra holes. Thanks, Heather. The sound of the rain. So I know, right? It needs to stop long enough for me to get back into the house, though. <laughs> so, all right, guys, if you are not already doing this, please do so. We're trying to get to, well, we really want to get to 10,000, but 8,000 is our next goal. We'll be happy with the 1,000 increments. Thanks, Vicki. And, of course, if anyone would like a flower like this, I'd be happy to make you one. I do have more balls like this, and I have other colors coming um, that I'm waiting for. The next one, will you make new jokes or share more <laughs> new jokes girl you know me hi sally thank you bye tom i still i still say you're my bff even though you're a cheater <laughs> uh, all right guys i'm gonna put the camera up say good good night properly i will see you all again on monday at nine and if you want to join my private group, we'd love to have you. Because I'll be in there tomorrow night at 9. I know, Brenda. Have a great weekend, guys. And enjoy the debate. <laughs> I did all of them for you, Connie. You did all of what, Robin? But thank you. Whatever you did, thank you. <laughs> That was supposed to be holes. Oh, <laughs> okay, Brenda. You can watch the replay. It'll be there. It'll also be on YouTube if you prefer. It's easier to watch on YouTube. So, oh gosh, Tom. I know. I have to. I have to remember to close this camera. Thank you, Lizzie. Happy to have you join us and all the newbies that were here today. Thank you for being here. Love you all. God bless you all. Good night.